I'm posting this video asking help of the YouTube community that's into machinery and motors. If you can tell me anything about the circuit board connected to this motor. For a quick background, this came out of a paper shredder that I found in the trash. And it has this uh, pretty awesome little universal motor. Basically, these motors can run on DC and AC. They are reversible. This particular one is reversible by these wires here. The brown and the, ye the yellow wire are for some kind of thermal sensor right there. But from what I'm getting, if you connect the, the white and the red, it will go in one direction. And the blue and the black, it would go a different direction. As you can see here, I have the white connected to my stator coil, which is then jumpered. And on this side here, coming out of the other side of the stator coil, is the blue wire. So I would assume you never connect the blue and the white wire together. It's always going to be an alternate of blue and black, black and white or something. But my question is, why is all this circuitry on this board? Is this some kind of motor controller that enhances the performance of this device or is it just a thermal cutoff circuit required to shut the device down when this little thing here senses that the motor is getting too hot? This motor is subjected to some tremendous torques. I would imagine, I mean, maybe not tremendous. Okay, I'm exaggerating extensively there, but you know what I mean. This motor is meant for heavy duty. For some extreme torque cycling. It's a paper shredding motor. So does it really take this much electronics to sense when an engine's hot then turn it off? I mean because you couldn't use a traditional like um, circuit breaker because this thing's meant to draw high amperage. It just seems like that's a lot of circuitry to shut a motor off when it gets hot. I'd imagine this is the on to shred the paper and then perhaps when the machine gets jammed you hit reverse and back out. But I don't know. I've never owned a paper shredder. So perhaps this circuitry also senses when the device is jammed automatically shuts the motor down to keep it from burning up. So I'd imagine this here's a 24 volt relay. No idea what this is. Some kind of capacitor. Maybe um, this circuitry is to run the 24 volt relay. That's possible. We do have a 240 volt capacitor here and a couple of ICs and it is a new China trend these days to build electronic transformers rather than the old wound coil type. Notice in the circuit board of the old days they'd have a bunch of little tiny transformers on them sometimes. You're not going to see a lot of those these days. So I don't know any input you have on what I got going on here because I'm thinking about just chopping all this stuff off but if this is some kind of circuit that makes enhances the performance of this motor it'd be nice to have it on there I don't think it is I think it's just a circuit that senses an overload shuts the device off it also senses when the motor has been getting too hot when the motor is too hot it needs to be turned off because that's what this diode here shows a thermometer on the dash of this thing. You can see that. So I'd assume, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Pretty cool free junk though. I love gears. Always been a collector of these things. Never managed to build anything with them though. Still waiting for that. 
it was a little bit trickier to wire up than I thought. You had to pay attention to the way it's wound. You got to connect the field on one side and the brush on the other side. Neither of the brushes is connected to the field. So you have to connect the field lead, which is the blue, to the red lead, which is the other brush. If you want to reverse the direction of the motor, you would disconnect the white wire connect it to the blue wire. And the blue wire, or I'm, I'm sorry, you would connect the white wire to the red wire, the blue wire to the black wire. And that would give you the other direction. This motor doesn't seem to be broken yet. It's really hard to turn when it's off. Um, it does have a really nice brush set up. The commuter looks really nice. It's not getting really any sparks out of that thing, which is good. I'm going to be hooking this motor up to a blower. It's going to have about a two inch shaft on it. And it'll be running this thing. Makes me a negative pressure wood burner. I'm afraid the bearings on the current pump are going to burn out because I'm getting temperatures of 300 degrees out this exhaust tube. Don't have enough pipe to view that off yet. One day I'm going to make the pipe snake back in that direction and come all the way back this way to get all the heat out of it. Because ideally you only want to have about 180 degrees off exhaust gas coming out. Anything under 180 degrees really doesn't provide very much heating value worth your time so that's what I'm doing with the motor I've just pretty much come to the conclusion that this circuit merely sensed overload and used a relay to shut the device down and it also sensed the motor overheating and would use a relay to shut it down and the rest of this circuitry is basically just an electronic transformer I'm assuming and the diodes maybe are used to run the relay because relays do not run on AC, yeah it says DC right there so it's an awful lot of diodes on there man anyway definitely a cool find I don't know what this thing would cost brand new, but I'm loving it.